four. Here's meteorologist Dan Ruff. Hey, just want to thank you for choosing Jet 24 Action News this evening. We have some sunshine starting to peak out here. Here's our downtown Erie cam. You can see the roar on the shore crowds uh, have left, so things calming down there. And you can see the streets are back open on State Street. Your storm tracker here, some showers starting to move into Crawford and also into southeastern uh, Erie County here. So Corey starting to get uh, a decent rain shower right now. It doesn't look like there's any lightning with this, so pretty much heavy rain that went through high town also Spartansburg getting uh, some of that shower activity these showers are moving towards the northwest around 20 miles per hour notice towards the south there's some more scattered activity and this is pretty much going to be the story for the evening and into tonight more lightning showing up towards the Pittsburgh area so satellite radar not a whole lot has changed since yesterday that low pressure off the coast is now over here you can see all these low pressure systems are rotating around each other uh, kind of a weird pattern going on here but uh, this is what we call the Fujiwara effect. When two low pressure systems get close, they tend to rotate around each other, and that's exactly what's going on right now. And a lot of this is going to stay in the area for quite some time. There's not a whole lot to push it out of here. So 72 right now, Penn State Barron, Corey 78 degrees. We have McCain at 72, Lake City right now at 70 degrees. You can find a whole lot more 70s here for Warren and also Crawford County, 74 there in Sagertown from Kathy and Mike. Dew points um, a bit uncomfortable. You see the 60s and your winds are in all different directions here on the map. And again, that's because there's multiple low pressure systems. You have one down here rotating around that and also towards Ontario. So that's why you have uh, a chaotic wind pattern going on right now. 24 hour rainfall. Um, the models didn't do too bad. I know last night they were showing about an inch for, you know, somewhere around here. And it looks like Warren and Bradford did pick up around an inch. Jamestown around an inch. Um, I know uh, Becky in French Creek said she picked up about 0.9 inches of rain, half inch for Erie. So here's your almanac number. 72 degrees was the high temperature, and the airport actually picked up around 0.51 inches there. So we are an inch for the month, but still below average for July. So your headlines, scattered showers and maybe a storm tonight, but we're still going to see some dry time as well, like right now. Unsettled pattern continues into the week because those low pressure systems are not going to be moving anywhere uh, anytime soon. Lake forecast tomorrow, water temperature 61, weighs about a foot or less. And your surface map here showing those low pressures there, but off towards uh, the western part uh, for central part of the U.S., you have a break. This is the cold front that will actually help push some of this moisture out on Thursday, but there's still going to be a little bit of moisture left, so we're not going to be completely dry for the seven-day forecast or any days in that seven-day. So the low pressure kept us on the cool side with all that cloud cover and rain. You can see the future cast here at 941 p.m. You have the scattered showers, maybe a storm moving through, but they start to break apart towards Monday morning. I think we'll see a little bit of sunshine for the day Monday, but towards the afternoon and evening hours, we start to see a similar pattern to what we're seeing right now. Some scattered showers and storms start to pop up and some of those may even be on the stronger side. So Lakeshore for tonight, your temperature lows 68, scattered rain showers east to southeast 5 to 15, inland areas 66 for your low temperature. In the mountains, maybe a storm, but mostly rain showers, 63 to 67. Tomorrow in the 80s, 79 mountains, some scattered PM storms. Again, some of those might be uh, giving us some gusty winds. Tomorrow night, 60s to 70, partly cloudy showers and a storm possible. Here's a look at your seven-day forecast. We'll have the 80s for the week, and we'll have storms uh, probable there on Wednesday and into Thursday, a chance. That's when a uh, cold front will move through and start to push some of that moisture out of the area. You can find that forecast in all of our sky cams. Check it out on yourerie.com. All right, keeping an eye to the sky. Thank you, Dan. Right. We'll be right back, folks. Don't go away. Get Erie's most accurate forecast from the Jet 24 team of meteorologists on Erie's rock station, Rocket 105.